Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. And this one is a fresh Let's Play. Let's head on over to the campaigns of this uh, wonderful Master Chief collection. And we have covered Reach, although that may or may not be replaced at some point down the line. We have just finished covering uh, Halo CE Anniversary, which was an incredible game. And then a short time after the events of Halo CE, we come straight into Halo 2 Anniversary. And uh, wow, what a game this was when it came out. Now, there are quite some significantly diff some significant differences to the gameplay compared to the first game. This game completely did away with medkits. And yeah, <laughs> that's a double-edged sword because you only have your shields to rely on. And then I, I would say you can take a hit once your shields go down, but nah, not, not, not really. Um, we're going to have some interesting dialogue when this game starts up. Uh, with a master, a certain master guns, um, telling us how amazing our new armored suit is. Fun fact, um, in Halo 2, out of all of the Halo games, in this game, you're the weakest and you have the most paper-thin, flimsy suit uh, that Master Chief ever gets. It's kind of interesting. In the original Halo, the one that we've just finished, um, you are a very powerful, relatively spongy character. Even on Legendary, you can still take quite a few knocks. Now, one of the things that they changed in Halo 2, for some reason, is they actually made Chief the weakest combatant on the field bar one. I guess you must be wondering what's weaker than Master Chief, a Spartan too, humanity's finest. I, you might be feeling generous and you might be thinking to yourself, well, I guess maybe Chief's a little bit stronger than a grunt. <laughs> a grunt. No, Master Chief has slightly more hit points than a flood spawn. Yes. One of those little poppers, one of those little flood spores. That's the only thing in Halo 2 that is actually more fragile than Chief. Uh, this becomes quite a barrier for the legendary difficulty. And um, yeah, it's why Halo, one of the reasons I should say, Halo 2 is kind of seen as the black sheep in the uh, in the collection, the fact that they really nerfed Chief way too much. Um, and also, when you're fighting enemies in vehicles, uh, enemy vehicles have more health than you. Even when Chief jumps into a Scorpion main battle tank in this game, randomly, it gets weaker than it would be if it was just parked up. It's bizarre. It's really strange. But apart from that, what else do we get? Well, we got a completely brand new suit of weapons. And the weapons in Halo 2 are quite the step up from Halo Combat Evolved. We also get way more vehicles. We get some glorious set pieces. We get a much more coherent, grander scale story, which I like. And, man, we get some fun places to visit. Uh, we get new aliens to fight. And it's just pretty much a massive improvement over the first one in almost every way except for the difficulty. So, let's go. We're not going to be getting the skulls because the skulls only appear on Legendary. Um, so... Screw that. <laughs> I haven't completed this game on Legendary since um, the original Xbox and Xbox 360 days. Uh, so we, we, we will not be doing that here, but we will be getting the terminals. So we want to go to Missions. The Heretic. We're going to go on Heroic. No skulls. Let's go to the wonderful opening 
cinematics. All the cinematics in the anniversary edition have been remade by Blur Studios. And wow, that's all we can say. For a failure such as this, the punishment cannot be too great. set fire to their planet, but I followed with all the ships in my command. When you first saw Halo, were you blinded by its majesty? Blinded? Paralyzed? Dumbstruck? No. Yet the humans were able to evade your ships, land on the sacred ring, and desecrate it with their filthy footsteps. Noble hierarchs, surely you understand that once the parasite attack... There will be order in this council! You were right to focus your attention on the Flood. But this demon, this Master Chief... By the time I learned the demon's intent... ...there was nothing I could do. <laughs> Noble Prophet of Truth, this has gone on long enough. Make an example of this bungler. The Council demands it. You are one of our most treasured instruments. Long have you led your fleet with honor and distinction, but your inability to safeguard Halo was a colossal failure. I will continue my campaign against the humans. No, you will not. Soon the great journey shall begin, but when it does, the weight of your heresy will stay your feet, and you shall be left behind. was about to fail. There's viscosity throughout the gel layer. Optics, totally fried. And let's not even talk about the power supply. You know how expensive this gear is, son? Tell that to the Covenant. Yes, the two different um, sides. Very polarizing effects. This is all obsolete anyway. Your new suit's a Mark VI. Just came up from Songnam this morning. Try and take it easy until you get used to the upgrades. Okay, let's test your targeting first thing. Please look at the top light. Good. Now look at the bottom light. All right. Look at the top light again. That's it. Now the bottom one. Okay. Tracking looks sketchy. I'm going to run you through the... Oh, no. Diagnostic software sets your targeting system to be normal. Go ahead and look at each of the four lights, Chief. You want me to leave it like that or make it inverted? Yes, please. I'll leave your targeting set to normal. If you change your mind, you can switch the setting anytime. No, thank you. I'm going to offline the inhibitors. Move around a little. Get a feel for it. Oh, much better. That's nice. Nice to be in a brand new Mark VI suit of armor. Much nicer. Pay attention. Sounds nicer. Going over this once. This station will test your recharging energy shield. Your new armor shields are extremely resilient, very efficient. <laughs> oh, you joker! Use for the Mark V. Uh huh. Yep. Sure. Go ahead and use the switch in front of you to start the shield test. 
As you can see, they recharge a lot faster. If your shields go down, find some cover. Wait for the meter to read fully charged. That, or you can hide behind me. <laughs> you done with my boy here, Master Guns? I don't see any training wheels. His armor's working fine, Johnson. You're free to go, son. Just remember, take things slow. Don't worry. I'll hold his hand. <laughs> oh, I love Johnson. Oh, right. Sorry. So, Johnson. When are you gonna tell me how you made it back home in one piece? Sorry, Guns. It's classified. <laughs> <laughs> My ass? Well, you can forget about those adjustments to your A2 scope. And well, he's in a particularly fine mood. Maybe Lord Hood didn't give him any news. <laughs> and there she is, Earth. Beautiful. Who's walking? Oh, it's us making. I was gonna say that that wasn't in the original. This like armored boot sound. I like it. All right, let's go. Haven't seen it in years. When I shipped out for basic, the orbital defense grid was all theory and politics. Now look. Oh yes, she's a beauty. And she'll be doing plenty of that. From the Athens and the Malta, nothing's getting past this battle thruster in one piece. Some piece of kit. Ships have been arriving all morning. Nobody's saying much, but I think something big's about to happen. Looks like we're getting a hero's welcome. Can't say the same for the Arbiter. Got something to smile about. Another whisper, sir, near Io. We have probes en route. Uh, I apologize, but we're going to have to make this quick. You look nice. Thank you. Sergeant Major, the Colonial Cross is awarded for acts of singular daring and devotion for a soldier of the United Earth Space Corps. There can be no greater heresy. Let him be an example for all who would break our covenant. Commander Miranda Key, your father's actions were in keeping with the highest traditions of military service. His bravery in the face of impossible odds reflects great credit upon himself and the UNSC. The Navy has lost one of its best.
Covenant space ruptures directly off our battle cluster. Show me. Fifteen Covenant capital ships holding position just outside the kill zone. This is Fleet Admiral Harper. We are engaging the enemy. Negative, Admiral. Form a defensive perimeter around the cluster. Commander, get to your ship. Link up with the fleet. Yes, sir. You have the Mac gun, Cortana. As soon as they come in range, open up. Gladly. Something's not right. The fleet that destroyed Reach was 50 times this size. Sir, additional contacts. Boarding craft and lots of them. They're going to try to take our Mac guns offline. Give their capital ships a straight shot at Earth. Master Chief, defend this station. Yes, sir. I need a weapon. Right this way. God, that felt so epic. All right, let's defend this station. But first, we need some firepower. And we have some new weapons. So we've got a battle rifle, which fires a very powerful three round burst. Excellent for headshots, essentially. And over here, we have the uh, SMG, or the bullet hose, which is a caseless uh, 60 round mag. It's kind of feeble. It, you know, once you push yourself past um, normal difficulty, it gets a little bit weak. But, you know, it's fine. The only trouble with dual wielding, which is new, by the way. But you can't throw grenades. Oof. Yeah, it's going to get bad out there. We really need these Mac guns. They're pivotal. Yeah, we got it, Johnson. Like, Alright, things are about to get sticky. Home field advantage, indeed. Here we go. Now you'll notice one other change they've made is the amount of ammo that we can co uh, hold has been massively reduced. We can now hold less than half the amount of ammo that we could before. But another cool thing with the SMG, well that was a bad example, <laughs> but it is a good example of how um, the difficulty has been ramped up. So one thing you can do with the SMG, you can keep one going. And as soon as it clicks empty, just open up with the second one whilst it's reloading. All right, let's get some more ammo. I do love these little weapon lockers. These are cool. Right, yeah, so ammo's been probably halved, maybe less than. Right, let's go waste these grunts. Looks like we're losing some soldiers here. As soon as that shield goes down, you are hosed. Nothing's getting away, don't worry. Now, another new feature of the AI. Uh, the AI can now mantle and jump all over objects and props. They are way more mobile and way, way more intelligent in Halo 2, which is really cool. Right, now we're loaded. Let's go. You right there, Marine? Also, the human turrets look way better in this one. Although there weren't human turrets in Halo 1, were there? Alright, looks like things are getting a little bit spicy out here. Let's see if we can't rattle some teeth with this heavy machine gun. Alright, he's pacified. Oh, we have more. Looks like a grunt, yep. Oh, hello. Sorry guys, yeah, a couple of shots. That's, ooh, hello. Just a couple of shots. That's all it takes to bring our shields down. And you can see, these guys have worked out how to get behind me.
Oh, here he comes. Come at me, fool. That's what I thought. Now, luckily, being on this battle station, we've got uh, all kinds of ammo all around us. Now, the SMG isn't the only weapon we can dual wield. We can dual wield plasma pistols as well. Sugar water. No, thank you. All right, we're on it. <laughs> Let the chief go first. He likes it. Yes, sir, he does. Evening. Yeah, this rifle is fantastic. Evening. Oh, we've got no nades. Yeah, waiting for that armor to recharge. So important this time around. Call me a sissy. You will die. You will die a lot in Halo 2. But you can see our guys seem to be doing a somewhat decent job. Holding the coffees down. I know there is. I saw that elite come down here. It does feel somewhat more balanced to the books. This difficulty, sort of. All right, what have we got going on out here? But then I don't know, because in the books, the Spartans just smash the shit out of the Covies, literally. Um, unless they are over, uh, pretty seriously outnumbered. But in the books, when they're outnumbered, we're talking like, you know, hundreds to one, not... not you know, when you think about the odds that you fight in the uh, games, where there's probably, you know, 20, 30 Covies at once, that wouldn't be a problem in the books for a Spartan at all. We have the zoom mode as well. Come on, you little shit stain. There we go. This is looking spicy. We remember this from the first one. We remember their little drop pods. Oh, someone got with a spicy nade. We like it. Now, the good thing is, as a rule... Oh. As a rule, when the elite's shields go down... They're basically uh, screwed like we are as well. Uh, yeah, that's that's not good. I don't think the Mulsa won. Mm, pretty, pretty confident they probably didn't. So, this is bad. <laughs> Caught in the open with my pants down. All right, let's wake these suckers up. Let's get some accurate fire. Whoop! Now, another change that's been made. You remember in the original uh, Halo, where Chief had quite the throwing arm on him for grenades. You could really get the grenades to fly. Yeah, Chief's got noodle arms in this game. They've massively nerfed how far you can throw a grenade. But, grenades still play quite a big role. These bays, this bay's been uh, bloody fortified. Well, that's bad. We're out of ammo. I'm f ooh. We're looking. We're looking. Now, unfortunately, we don't get the same magnum we got in the first game. We get a cut-down handgun. But it fires much faster. It's still powerful. Still a nasty weapon. It's just uh, not quite up to what the magnum was. Where? Are oh, hello. Let's wake these guys up with some nades. Stay alive, Marine. Damn, we got plenty of elites. Let's get rid of the grunts first. Let's 
bastard covered his friend. But I think we got him. Come on. Come on. Alright, Hood. We're on it. We're on it. Got another load coming. You can see them. Oof. Yeah, they started to add physics into the game with this one as well. So uh, we have all the uh, ragdoll physics. We've got object physics. And it makes for some quite interesting and visceral combat scenes. Come on, you little fucker. Oof. Ah, I think one of our marines got him. Oh, hello. I thought there was another one. Suck it down. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, that's not good. Whoa. Second Mac gun down. You got it, boss. Yeah, that's bad news. So, are Covenant weapons viable in this game? Yes. Yep, they are much better. And um, dual wielding them with human weapons is a really good shout. In fact, just dual wielding plasma rifles as a whole is a good shout. All right. 